Hi, I'm Julie Elliott, and I teach interior design at LSU. Our goal this semester was to take 17 students and really have them look at it from the lens of these individual homeowner partners for Habitat for Humanity who do have different profiles. And so the goal was to have some kind of commonality be identified out of these 17 projects. And so even though the floor plates were designed differently for all 17, they have a lot of commonalities and that's where we're working now with Habitat to see if we could influence potentially the next iteration of homes that will be built. The project started off with a site visit to a traditional Habitat for Humanity house here in Baton Rouge. And then from there, we all got client profiles and our clients ranged in age, race, gender, kind of all of the above. And from there, we thought we could kind of develop a floor plan more based on our clients' needs and also universal needs. So that means it could fit really anyone and everyone, no matter your age, gender, disability. My client specifically was a family of five, and this family had a five-year-old boy with autism. In order to design for a child with autism, it was important that I included things such as soft surfaces, Colors were super important and also rounded corners amongst a bunch of other things. Another thing that was super important in this project was to do an ADA bathroom so it's completely accessible to anybody who would live in this home in the future. Each person in our studio was given a specific client and we were given the same floor plan, but we wanted to reimagine the space for universal design, which would accommodate any race, religion, Disability. My name is Ailey Spellinger. I'm a junior studying interior design at LSU. My clients were a family, a mother and two of her sons that immigrated from Africa. So they're here working in Louisiana and the mother works at a nursing home. So my main goal was to just make a universal design that met all of their needs and not only their needs like in the current moment, but also like for whenever like they grow up and the kids get older and that they have like a space that like they can live in through all like, stages of their life. It was very eye-opening to see all of the different um, necessities and things that people need, but everyone has different requirements, you know, different disabilities and things like that that need to be accommodated for. It was awesome. It was such a great experience to actually go out there and see some of the families. And we worked with so many different people who just want to help their community. And at the same time, the students got to meet some of the homeowners, physically build one of the houses, and on that same day, we just happened to have one of the homeowner profiles that we had worked with have their home right across the street dedicated to them. And so I just saw this excitement in the students' eyes, you know, it just all came to life in full circle.